I'm Chris Anderson. I'm an associate professor of photography at MSU. I would be pretty exclusively a colloid uh, printer, meaning gum printing number one, casein number two. Basically, you're taking watercolor pigment, you're taking gum arabic, and you're taking ammonium dichromate. So when you mix those three together and paint it on a piece of watercolor paper um, and put a large size negative on top, um, it will print the image because the colloid will harden where the sun reaches it the most and it will wash away where the sun doesn't reach it the most. So you have this kind of pseudo um, photograph painting um, when you're done. Each image I've split into tricolor negatives. So a color image becomes a negative that prints magenta, a negative that prints blue, and a negative that prints yellow. So I'll print my negative that prints blue first, or magenta, and expose it, develop it in plain water, um, let it dry. Then I have to coat it again, expose it again, develop it in plain water again, let it dry. And then I have to do it again. And then I do it maybe four to six times for each print. If I do printing morning and night, I will be, be able to finish a print maybe in three days. These processes were the norm back in the uh, late 1800s, early 1900s. Everybody did these processes. Nowadays, people don't even know what they are. When people see them who don't know the process, they know there's something about these prints that's different. They don't know if they're photographs or if they're paintings. And there's something about them that's very um, tactile and intriguing and textural, and they love them, but they don't know how to pigeonhole them into, they're, they're confused. And so, um, but they love, the lo they love the way the images look. And also the variety that you can do of, oh, all kinds of different um, ways of making the same gum print. No, no print turns out the same.